The children um, will literally they walk in and you can see by their expressions just how much you know the awe and wonder you know is in their face. I'm Emily and I transformed our nursery into a plastic free zone in the hope of inspiring our next generation to save the planet. Um, we decided to make the nursery plastic free um, because it is a, an issue that is you know part of our children, our parents, um, our teaching staff, it's part of everybody's everyday life at the minute. It took quite a long time to implement, actually it was two years which we found quite a brutal process. The challenges that I think that we found quite difficult was deciding what to actually keep and what not to keep. Um, in one way you want to minimise the plastic but in the next you also don't want to take it to a tip. So I kind of came to the decision of shall we keep this if so, what are we going to do with it? Can we reuse it? Is it something that's not going to end up in the landfill in the next few months, up to a year? Um, and just make those really hard decisions between us as a staff team. The children um, will literally they walk in and you can see by their expressions just how much you know, the awe and wonder you know, is in their face. They are desperate to get on and they're so curious. They want to know what's in every area. Um, and the areas themselves have got so many real objects, open-ended resources that really extend their learning, makes them think more critically, um, makes them become better problem solvers as they're older. Um, so the children, I think, obviously, as, as I hope, are getting the most out of this. My staff team are incredibly motivated. I feel they've been quite inspired by the whole culture change. Um, we do follow um, a training provider called the Curiosity Approach, which is obviously um, a, a program that supports plastic-free resources and environments. Um, they've been a massive inspiration to us, um, and I, I, I do hope that we've managed to follow it well, and that the children do get the learning that they deserve out of this. Favourite resources that we have um, is probably the real objects. So we've got a, a lovely set of resources that are African resources. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. There's so much learning involved with them. The only, I think, the only resource that we think that we've had to, we've had to keep um, is the dinosaurs because, unfortunately for us, as much as we're trying to implement this change, the dinosaurs are a huge interest to the children. Um, and they really enjoy playing with them. So we've kind of mixed them up with some natural resources as well. So we've got a lovely little small world there. I think it's very important to reduce the idea of saving the planet at such an early stage in our children's lives um, because our children are the ones that are going to inherit this planet at the end of the day. Um, we need to be setting a good example to them, um, you know, and helping them to change their ways, their lifestyles in order to make sure that you know, they can maybe someday um, solve a, a problem that humans have already created. Um, it is just so important for them to have this from an early stage.